Yo, this is Roan, the two-time King of the Dot champ. You're listening to Witty Smitty News. Fuck with it. Christian Smith, Witty Smitty News. We join with Chilla Jones, World Domination 6. We had a great battle with Arcane day one. How do you think it went overall, looking back on it now? Uh, I think it went great. I think it went great. Um, I think Arcane's comeback was, was dope. He had a lot of good energy, good material. Uh, I, I really, compared to past performances in Canada, I think I did really well. I think my energy and my performance was high. I feel like they were sleeping on you, to be honest. Heavily. Heavily. Like Heavily. that. Heavily. That whole crowd day one I thought was a little rough, but yeah, for you was. especially, like, it was. it was a snooze fest. It, it was, was terrible. And, it, it, you know, I, I think normally I would attribute it to my energy because usually I'm super laid back and, you know, sometimes if the crowd doesn't connect with me, they kind of lose interest. But I was super high energy versus Arcane, super aggressive. Uh, performance level high, uh, you know, so you know, overall it was a tough crowd, but uh, man, I love my material in the battle. Mm. I, I think I had some very cool, like I had some, like, watching it back on the pay-per-view twice today, like when people get, really get a chance to go home and watch it and break it down, they're going to be like, man, this battle wasn't that close. Mm. Wasn't that close but, so going into it, what did you think Arcane was going to bring to you that you hadn't seen from previous opponents, if uh, anything? Ar Arcane is, I think he has strong angles, he's super versatile, he can be funny, um, he can scheme, he can punch, you know, Ar Arcane can, can kind of do it all, he's all around really good, um, you know, so going against Arcane, I really just expected, you know, he's very cerebral, so I expected him to approach me in a way that was different than I had seen. Uh, he had a good approach. His first round, he really addressed Caustic a lot, but his second round, I thought he had a genius approach. He had an approach about me biting bars or like, you know, being a plagiarist. Uh, but the way the way he painted the picture and the way he presented it, was I thought was super dope. If I was a casual fan watching, I would believe everything that he said, mm. you know what I mean? So, okay. Um, I thought his second round was, was super dope. I, I thought his third round was his weakest round overall. Um, but I think if he had three rounds that were like his second round, I would have been in a lot of trouble. I would have been in a lot of trouble. But, but I think in that round alone, he kind of proved why he's a two-time ex-champion, a mm. two-time Grand Prix champion. So your last battle before this was the two-on-two -two with Magic? Yes. This is March. the longest time I think you've had between a battle for a minute. Since 2013. Do you think that's helped you a lot going into this battle then? Very much so. Very much so. Um, you know, ba battling... In 2015, I battled nine times. I battled Bullets, Math, Con, Diz, Prep, Pass, Danny Myers. And I don't know how you didn't win Battle of the Year. In the saga. It's crazy. I, I should have easily. Yeah, it's ridiculous, I mean, based to be off honest. the resume and the, and the output. And the uh, wins. And the the win-loss win column is yeah. crazy that I mean, year. I think the only loss... You clearly beat Con. Clearly. Yeah, I, I beat like the you, shit out of Con. Yeah. <laughs> I beat the shit out of Con. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like I beat everybody except for Pass, mm -hmm. and I feel like this was a two-round battle. I feel like me and this tied, to be honest. With yeah, you. Pass, you lost. I, uh, I'd give that to but, him. But everything else, I think me, me and Danny was a bar fest. Mm, classic. Prep I, just, prep I destroyed. Con I beat. Uh, yeah, we. Me and Math was classic. Really good battle. We haven't seen Prep till um, this weekend after that. <laughs> yeah. This is the first, yeah. You know, over you did men dirty. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you know. Um, it helped a lot to be able to kind of sit back and refresh and recharge and like really just kind of study the game and kind of I, I tried to re reinvent myself a little bit versus mm -hmm. Arcane like I, I really just tried to get back to my bar heavier roots because I feel like a lot of my approaches in 2015 were like very angle, angled, very angle strong like versus Math or Saga. I did a lot of personals, a lot of attacks, and in Verse Arcane, I kind of, I did a lot of that, but I kind of went back to just like the, every bar is a bar, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I kind of went back to that style, which was tough for that crowd, but again, on, on camera, it, you know, from what I saw on the pay-per-view, man, it, it, it translates really well. Mm -hmm. So I want to touch on your beginning for a minute. Okay. We're going to go back to 2011 versus Interstate Flame Shark Tank Battlegrounds. Yep. So that's the first footage of you I could find. Mm -hmm. Was that your first battle on a league then? Um, that was my first battle on a league. There is one battle 
prior to that that I did that's online was Gatman Jones. It wasn't a league though. It was more of a uh, so there was a there's a bar there. It's called the Dublin House in Dorchester, which is the town that I'm from. And every Monday night they do freestyle battles or MC battles or whatever you want to call it. Um, so the person I battled there was like a six week champ and. You know, a lot of people on local radio stations had kind of brought my name up to him and said that they wanted to see us battle. I turned it down a bunch of times. After like maybe two or three weeks, I decided to do it. Went up there and, you know, did what I do. I, I really didn't, I didn't write anything for him. It was all freestyles and like old mixtape verses. If, like if you go study my mixtapes from like 20, 2008, all the verses I used for him were at least five years old. But, mm. I, but you know, my writing style is so, doesn't really get old, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so that's like the first battle, not, not a league battle, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, I would agree yeah, yeah. the interstate playing was the first league battle. But, uh, but yeah, that was like my my first real written battle of the written format, you know what I mean? Uh, two, three minute rounds, and the last round was just unlimited. So my last round, I think it was like eight minutes. Mm -hmm. It was like schemes and punches. So last question. Sure. Gully versus Gannix coming up, obviously. I'm you would be Team Gannick, of course. So if you get the call, who's one of these young guys that you would like to go at? Um I really like A Ward, man, I'm not gonna front. Mm. I really like A Ward's pen. Uh I like Ellipsis. I think Ooh. he also has a really good pen. Wow, I didn't think of that. That would be fire. He has a crazy pen. Um those would probably be my top two picks. Um you know, I know a few other names in GZ, but I don't know GZ in and out, so I would really kind of have to go off who you've seen. Really go look at some more names. There's a couple more battles tonight, so I'll get the opportunity to see like mm -hmm. Jeffrey's the homie, so I wouldn't battle Jeffrey, but I'll get the chance to see Chrome. I'm not familiar with Chrome. I'll get to see. He's uh, a good cat. He besides Pesci, Chrome's the best in Montreal, hands down. Yeah, hands down. He had a nice battle with DNA about a month ago, mm. one rounder, and DNA came with some shit. Yeah, like he tried. Like, he didn't come freestyle for five minutes. He actually wrote. He had Montreal Canadian bars. Like, he had city bars. Like, he so, knew what he was doing. Yeah. And Chrome, I mean, he didn't beat him, but he, he stood his ground with DNA, which is good, you know. Which is dope, a, right. a trying DNA, that's all you can do, right? Exactly. Exactly. Well, anyway, Witty Sweetie News, join with Chilla Jones, World Dom. Thank you for joining me. Definitely be on the lookout right. for the Arcane Battle. Yes, sir. We out.